Well, I'd like to say a pleasant morning to everybody and thank you so much for joining us for another edition or episode of Glasses Kingdom's reaction videos. It's a pleasure to see you again. It's an absolute pleasure to see you again. And I am happy to bring to you a family, a very musical family who plays great music all the time, all the time. You know, this has been a family who has been on the fast rise. They've been around for quite some time and as a matter of fact, with that said, I remember somebody recommending this family to me a year ago. And for some reason, I overlooked the request. And then a year later, I happened to actually see the request a second and a third and a fourth time. And I'm like, no, I need to take a look at this family whoever the friends family is i just need to take a look at them because i've been getting this particular request over and over again so it has to mean that this is a great family and i should certainly uh, take a, a an immediate look at them and when i did take that look i'm like wow i like the sound this is a very calm and relaxed um music they were playing you know it was all acoustic it was mostly a trio i'm like this is very interesting i need to take a deeper look into this family and so i did the first reaction and then i did the second reaction and then i did a third reaction and then i did a fourth reaction and the requests came kept kept coming in and so i just couldn't stop and then I fell in love with the family. So even if nobody was requesting the Franz Rhythm Band, I personally had a need to go check out another song of them and said, I think I should feature this song or I should review this song. And so I did. And here we are. Here we are, two months later, stuck with the Franz Rhythm family. And we're just not going anywhere. So what has been happening in the past eight weeks is that I they grew on me and now I am growing with them. Yes, it's really a great family. And I am happy to say I like the progress. I like the direction that they're going. I like their enthusiasm in the music. The father is, is just a happy father and a loving father who is willing to to take his daughter to the highest level in music. And that is great to see. So now we have Father Franz, we have the daughter, um, Chen on guitar, who is a fantastic guitar player. And then we have Char on the drums, who is doing a fantastic job. Mom is normally behind the camera. And from time to time, we see Dodds on the drums. And that is just beautiful to see. All right, so before we get into the show fully, I just want to take some time to greet the wonderful people in the chat that is a big supporter of Franz Rhythm and also few of you that actually believes in Glasses Kingdom and actually support um, us on this side as well. I remember recently somebody asked in one of the, com in, in, in one of the comment sections, um, what's your credibility? Who are you to judge people? And I'm like, what? Did he just say that? I was going to answer him and, and, and give him my credentials. But I said to myself, no, I don't need to do that. So I said to him, I am just a simple guy with two ears. And that's my credential. A simple guy with two ears. And that's my credential. I'm going to tell you why I said that. You don't have to be a professional musician to critique somebody, to like somebody, or to tell other people what you like about what you hear. Each and every individual have their own opinion, which they have a right to share at any given time about anything they see or hear. 
Now, you that are watching, you're, you all are not musicians, but I'm sure you can hear the difference between something good and something undesirable. If you like what you hear, then you keep listening to what you're hearing. And if you don't like what you hear, then you cut off what you're hearing. Simple as that. You don't need credential to say what you like and what you don't like. See what I'm saying? Now the thing is, many people actually say what they like or don't like about a particular band or a particular artist, but some of them are afraid to say it publicly. You're afraid to say what you really believe publicly. Now that's different for me. If I like something or dislike something, I am not afraid to say it openly. So you don't have to be a musician to review something because all of you, every single person, every single one of you actually do that. You just don't do it publicly. When you watch Michael Jackson and you, and you watch Prince, some people prefer Prince and I'm like, yeah, uh, my, Michael Jackson was good tonight, but I really don't see why people are going crazy over him. I think Prince is the better one. You actually say these things. For instance, you have the SB19 group in the Philippines. And a lot of people go crazy over them. But people also have their bias. Some people prefer Ken. Some people prefer Stan. Some people prefer um, Pablo. Some people prefer etc. Now it boils down to Franz Rhythm that I am doing a review on every now and then. You too. You too have your preference. Some people go crazy for Chen. She is so her vocals is so warm and she plays the guitar so well. That's your bias. It's your preference. It doesn't mean you need credential to have a preference. See? That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Some people prefer um Char. They think she has like an angelic voice and they are happy to say Char is my favorite. You know what I mean? Did anybody pick Franz? <laughs> no. Not a lot of people really focus on Franz himself. People are actually very, very, very excited for the girls. And there's many reasons why a lot of people is like really excited for the girls. I will tell you why. When girls do things, anything that men do and girls do the same thing, it is more impressive when the girls do it because it is not expected that girls would have done it as great as the guys. So when girls do things, if, it, it's, if it's even not as great as guys, it looks actually greater than a guy. So anything that a guy do and a girl do it, when the girl do it, it looks more impressive. For instance, when you see a girl driving a trailer, for some reason, she looks like a better driver. She looks like a queen on the, around the steering. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just always have a greater look when a woman do something. When a man is a great guitar player, you're like, wow, he's really good. When a woman play the same thing, you're like, wow, wow. Did you see that? Yeah. So it's a thing. And the same thing, and the same thing goes for a child. When a child below the level of what you should have as an expertise or a, um, a expert adult, when a child does the same thing like an adult, the child look impressive because it wasn't expected that at that level or that age, then that person should be doing such great stuff. Anyway, with all of that said, thank you so much again for coming. Uh, I hope you're all having a great morning and a great evening wherever you are. We're happy to see you. We're going to do a quick check in the chat room to see who is here, and then we're going to go right into the reviews. Thank you again for joining us. We have SF Rose, who was very, uh, who was here very early, and she shared out the stream. Thank you very much. Thanks to those who shared and those who like. I appreciate you. Here's one of my, uh, my number one supporter as well, Gabby. No, I don't know what he's saying no to, if it's me or it's you, but he's saying no. Gabby, no, thank you so much for joining. I am in the queue, can wait for the analytics. All right, thank you for joining us as well. Then we have Kua ISO. I hope that's the way to say it. Uh, queuing since 4.50 p.m. 
Bontagas Province, Philippines. Thank you very much. Uh, Greg Manley is here as well from Australia and he shared the stream. We have Albert Polga. Thank you for being here, Albert Pol Polga. You are very um, welcome here. We also have Rolando Saludes. Uh, hello, Glasses Kingdom. Thank you for coming. All right, and then we have Ed Villa Bal. Your credentials are well established. Or, uh, ours are opinions only, at least. <laughs> my, my. <laughs> okay, Ed. Then we have Jimmy Ranesis. Hello, GK and everybody in the chat watching from the region to northeastern Luzon, uh, the Philippines. Thank you so much for coming. We also have Richard Tunga. Richard Tunga is, all, is, is also famous at Glasses Kingdom. I see you a lot and I am happy uh, for your participation, Richard. We also have Jin Last Drop. Hello, GK and everyone. Hello to you. Thank you so much for coming. We have, if you haven't seen Char's surprise birthday celebration, I recommend watching it in your shows. Uh, the closeness of this family, simple things are appreciated in their lives and the humble lives they live. Very well said. And here is Sky. Sky is also a big fan of the Franz Rhythm. I'm not sure if he's a family member, whether he's a cousin or he's a nephew or is a niece <laughs> no he's not a niece but he's he's very close to them and he supports them a lot and he knows a lot about them as well he's always there and giving us close-ups of what goes on behind the scenes thank you sky for your support to them and also to glasses kingdom all right uh prospero thank you for coming in prospero arcade and that that's it for the roll call Shout out Maraming Maraming. Mega love shout out to all of you, Po, from the Philippines, wherever you are, and thanks for joining us. Now let's go to this great original composition. Uh he says, haha, just a fan, GK, and admin of Shensters. <laughs> okay. Alright, great to know. Alright, so we're looking at um mascara. And this is an original comp composition that was done by Franz Billard, um, father senior or Franz senior. He is the composer of this great song that I reviewed a couple of days ago. But I'll tell you why I will do. I'll tell you why I, I will tell you why I decided to do this again. Sorry. Um, at this time in the morning my sinus is draining a little bit and uh, please for give me pardon me um so yes i i reviewed this recently but right at the end of reviewing and during my editing of the video i realized that i wanted to say more and I did and I couldn't say well I could say more but I prefer not to say more for two reasons one I started feeling sleepy because it was late at night and two um, I don't want my videos to be extra long so they bore you so I think I would do it in a live stream where I can speak directly with you and you can ask questions and we can speak back and forth to each other and you know and I can stop as many times as I want and you know not bore you to death so that's what we're doing today. So here we are. We're going to play Mascara and we're going to take a look at some of the things that I talked about in the previous review, but I didn't show them to you. I'm going to show them to you today. All right, so let's go. Okay, um, before they start, you know, just looking at them as a family, how much they bond, how much they love each other, how much they feel comfortable in the surrounding of each other, which is very good. You can tell that this family is very loving 
and has a great bond. Um, this guitar looks fairly new. Uh, the white guitar here that Chin is holding. Um, down below here on the floor is a, is a pedal board. I'm not sure if it's the new one that she's gotten recently, but there's a pedal board on the floor. And that's basically it. Franz is standing here all upright like the father he is with his daughter gearing up to massacre <laughs> this presentation. Chen there on drums. She's laughing. She's feeling happy. She's very much ready for this. So let's go right into it. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. All right, let's take a quick look at uh, um, Chen on the guitar. Now they are playing in E E minor. Uh, she's holding a thing we call as musicians we call it power chords. Now a power chord is a one and a fifth note played together at the same time in the original key. Uh, now it sounds very powerful, very heavy and very fat or very thick because of how she's playing these two notes. So instead of playing two notes, she's actually playing three notes. Uh, she's playing the octave. She's playing the first, the root note, the fifth and the octave that gives it a very rich sound. Um, she's using a very good sound processor as well, a good tone that gives it a great rock sound. Um, I'm going to demonstrate for you just a little bit so you know what I am talking about. Hold on. Uh. Okay, so um, my guitar is currently tuned a half step down. So I won't be playing in the key of E, instead I will be playing in the key of F. So they are playing the root, she's playing the root note, which would be the open E, and she's playing the fifth note, which would be B for her, but C for me, and then she's playing this little note right here, which is the octave. So she's playing So, uh, so that's what she's doing there and she's doing a fantastic job. I will tell you, she's doing a really good job with what she's doing. She, her, her picking is really tremendous. She's doing a great picking with the right hand and her left hand is doing also a very great job. Her dexterity, you can see a great improvement with whatever she does. She's a professional person and she's also um, a perfectionist, it seems. All right, let's get back into it. <laughs> Sang at lahat 
okay all right i want to say something again quickly before we go um any further all right so um chen if you notice her her main focus is on the guitar if you see in in the picture here her head is down and her head is down most of the time for one particular reason the key that they're in and the chords that she's playing they're not very close together they are kind of far-fetched so she's moving from the first fret all the way down to the fourth um to the fourth and sixth fret if i'm thinking right hold on let me check quickly from e down to the fourth yes so she's 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 making some wide stretch and she doesn't want to make a mistake she is a perfectionist as i said and she's afraid of doing any slip ups and so she's focused on the guitar today now there's a lot of parts in this particular song to play because she is the only one holding down the rhythm section and because of this she is not as focused with the vocals so this is why her vocals is kind of a little bit absent you know it is kind of a bit behind in terms of um in terms of using more diaphragm you know she's just basically singing with her chest voice which nothing is wrong with it um that's actually what she should be singing with because this is not a section of a song where she should be really worried about using a lot of her diaphragm to um to push these words out because she's just say she's she's just you um doing background vocals and she's not singing an entire phrase she's just saying one or two words um as a repeat you know so she's just repeating sections of the song um which she's doing a, a pretty jo fine job but she's more focused on getting the guitar parts right that's where her focus is really is we see char holding it down really really well um she knows she has it down she has it pat you know and she's uh, what she's doing is kind of straightforward so she can focus more on the drums i'm gonna tell you a secret as well it's easier it's easier to judge somebody than to be in their shoes you hear me up here talking like i am probably the king of doing things right i do slip ups as well i make mistakes as well and trust me it is easier to sit here and judge them as opposed to being them doing the presentation so so far they are doing a fantastic job a fantastic job and we have to remember that this is live this is not a studio recording where you can make a mistake and take it over again and erase your mistake and then everybody only see the beauty and the glam and the glory this is where all your flaws is going to show out because it is live it's a live presentation so they are doing a great job so far let's continue
okay so she did a great job with the solo very great job with the solo and as i said in my previous uh, review that um it feels like something that would have been like a written solo her solo the father, a uh, father, Ch um, father, friends. I don't think he wrote this solo. I think this was her playing what she feels, but she kind of go over the song a couple of times and find herself a little comfort zone where she feel comfortable with a particular set of notes and she executed them very well. So right up to this point, Chen is doing very, very well on the guitar. And of course, um, Char is playing like a superstar around there on the drums. She's hitting the drums like, uh, like she knows what she's doing. <laughs> you know, she's doing such a great job. So fantastic. And Father Friends is doing a great job. His vocals actually sounds very good in this song, in all the songs. But he stands out very well in this particular song, especially knowing that um, he's the one at the lead. Chen is doing the oohs and the ahs. That's what we call them in music, the ooh, ah. I, ca I can't sing, guys. So please don't, please disregard my voice. I'm, I don't sing. Uh, she's doing the oohs and the ahs, and every now and then she echoes, somebody would say in the chat, she echoes a word or two and she's doing a fantastic job with that. Really, really good job she's doing with that. And you have to remember, she is singing and she's playing and her part is a multifunctional section that she has to do. Now, I'm going to show you something really quickly. Let me go back right to the solo. So she's using a distorted guitar, the same, the, the same tone she used to play the power chords. It's the same thing that she's using to do the solo. I'm going to show you something that she did very quickly. All right, you see that chord? You see that chord that she held right there? That's A, major. Um, so she went from the solo in a distorted tone and she held a sustained note at the end of the solo and then go back into the song, which is, I think this is probably a second verse. I didn't count the verses. I think this is probably a, a second verse. Yes, second, yeah, this is probably the second verse of the song or maybe even the third. And now she's using a clean guitar. Now she had to switch on her pedal down below. That's why you see her head down most of the times because as I said, she had to be focused on so many things. So she has to focus on changing the tone and clicking the right button on the pedal to go back to the clean guitar that she's using now. Also, she has to focus on the chord that she's playing and to make sure that a wrong note does not slip in there. All right, so great job so far again. She's doing pretty much great and we will continue with that. Tumpa kukunwari Hintayin mo pa ba na mahuli Dumating ang dilim At wala nang silbi ang salamin Okay, so, so, so right there, right there what happened is it was a breakdown section in the song so they break the song down from the <coughs> and then they go into a smooth ballard type of thing where she's spreading some chords so she uh, th uh, this is the this is what we call them we call them bed chord or you're spreading your chord or you're arpeggiating your chord you're picking notes from the chord so her head is down again, as I said. She has to be focused um, on picking the right strings in these. And because she's not really singing at this present moment, she's more focused on getting her picking right. So if you see her head turn slightly to the right, she's now focused on her right hand to because she's picking. You know, she's not strumming here. She's not gang 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 gang, which is just one sweep down. Um, she's not doing that anymore. She's picking particular strings. 
So she have to focus on that to get that right. And so far, she's doing a great job. So right now we are actually three quarters of the video. And so far, she did perfect. There was no flaws, no, no mishaps, no nothing. Perfect job by all three of them up to this point. Let's continue. <laughs> Also, sorry to stop it so quick again. Um, also, I want to say a big shout out to the person that was be behind the camera. Um, I'm not sure if Mother Franz was behind the camera this time again, but you, you notice she did a great job by zooming in on Chen while she was playing. So the solo person get highlighted. That's very great by whoever is using the camera. Okay, so right here in this section um, is where Chen was, you know, I, I probably, you know, I didn't highlight this in my, in my, um, in my first review. I just said that she was fumbling a little bit when she was playing right here. Now, what she's doing right at this moment is called octaves. So she's playing two notes at the same time. She's playing a low note and a much higher note right at the octave in this section. And <clears throat> it's a technique in, in guitars that we use as guitar players. And I will tell you, it's not a very easy technique. This is something that you have to sit down and practice for days to master. Trust me, it is not easy. So what she's doing here, she's doing a fantastic job with what, with what she's doing. I too, if I was playing this, I probably would have made the same mistake. Even though I've been playing for years, and some people would call me a professional guitar player, I probably would make the very same mistake that she did. So, not killing her. We're not saying that, okay, it's the end of the world. We're just saying how much of a great job she's doing. Now, in the thumbnail today, I ask a question. Is Franz Rhythm ready for the outside world? I think, I think they're ready. I think they're ready for the outside world. But what the outside world will do to, to, to them, the outside world will force them to get everything right. Even though, I will tell you this, they are already in the outside world. Because the moment you put your stuff on YouTube, you're actually performing for a million plus people. You're performing for billions, as a matter of fact. So when you put your things out there, you don't know who is looking. Everybody in the world is looking. And sometimes you would never believe, you would never believe some of the people that turn up in your videos on your page or in your comment section. Some people are very professional. Some people are working with TV stations. Some are working with magazines. And some of them are looking at you and they are auditioning you. 
So I'm going to tell you something that you don't know, and this is my advice to every presenter, every musician, every, everybody who has anything to do um, in presenting something to the world. Always believe that whatever you do, it's like an audition. You're presenting yourself, you're selling yourself or selling your product to the world or to the consumers. And you must always strive to do your very best of everything that you're doing. Don't get too comfortable and say, okay, well, I'm just in my living room or I am just in the kitchen. And, you know, who cares? I'm just going to just do this here and I'm just going to do this there. You never know who is looking on you. And sometimes the person that is going to book you next is in the very small crowd that is looking at you. You only see five people. You only see a hundred people that is present at Glasses Kingdom right now. But in the 100 people that is looking on you, there's a pair of eyes that is looking on you that is attached to a company. And so when you do your best, you know, these pair of eyes get fastened on you. They are impressed and then say, you know, I saw a good band today in the Philippines and they did so well. I want to invite them to play at the Grand Gala. I want them to play for the king. I want them to play for the queen. You never know. So always believe that somebody is watching you. And you never know. The one person that is watching you could be the one person that will take you where you want to go. So the fact that they are playing and they are happily putting it out there on YouTube to the world. It means that they are ready for the outside world. Now, when they start to perform to big audience live, it's going to force them to just go hard, get it right. It's, it's either go hard or go home. But the great thing is that it's a family band. So when they're going home, they're going home together. So absolutely great job with Franz Billard Jr., and his two lovely daughters. Let's get back to it. Also, this section was where Chen did a, a, in a couple of slip up with the octaves that she was playing, and it's understandable. Here it is again, one more time. Here was one. Well, I want to tell you this. I want to tell you this. I want to tell you this. If you notice the expressions on Chen's face. I've watched a lot of videos of them. Um, I think I think she was a <laughs> I think she was a little bit nervous in this one. It's the first time I was seeing a little bit of nerves in her in her body language. Her facial expressions and her body language was kind of suggesting that she had a slight percentage of discomfort and when i say discomfort <coughs> sorry the discomfort came from the body of work that she had to do in a short period of time so i'd like to tell you this what she's playing is coming from her father's idea and there is another thing about uh, about somebody else's idea when you're playing your own idea it's easier to be done than doing somebody's idea. I will tell you why. And that's why no matter how simple you see it looks, it is not as simple. Uh, years ago, uh, a, 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 UK pro, a UK producer contracted me to work with one of his singers. And the singer came to Jamaica. I was living in Jamaica at the time. And I was supposed to play for her. Now, I as a professional wanted to just look professional all the time i wanted to look good so i was playing all beautiful things and 
pretty things and wonderful things so that everybody could be impressed with what I was doing. When the producer came to the studio that day, the, the producer said, guys, I don't like what you're playing. We were playing what we feel and the producer didn't want to hear what we feel. He wanted to hear what he felt when he was producing the song. So now we were trying to reproduce what the producer felt. And so we had to play back everything that he played note for note, chord for chord. Now, when you have to play back something like this, sometimes different instruments appear in a song at different time in the song. So a song could start, a song could start, and for the first 16 bar, the guitar player is silent. And the guitar player is supposed to play two notes or a chord or two in the 17th bar. Now, if it's a slow song, and you know, as guitar players, sometimes we can feel bored if we don't have anything to do, so we are just like there. So you have to be, you have to be in the song waiting for the seventeenth bar to play one note or two notes. Um, this becomes hard because you're not playing what you feel or how you feel when you want or how you want. You have to wait to play what the person, um, the, the composer, the writer, or the producer is feeling and telling you to play. That becomes a lot harder because we all don't feel the same things or see the same things or, or want to do the same things at the same time. So this is why it is not easy. So today, Franz Billard, is the one with the easiest job he's singing and playing bass that too is not easy but because it is his idea it becomes easier for him chen and char is basically playing what he thought about this original composition and there they are playing so they are doing a pretty good job but as i said chen was not 100 percent comfortable because she made that mistake now I'm gonna tell you this when guitar players make a mistake publicly publicly they feel bad about themselves which is not a bad thing because it provides them with room to fix their error to, to, to become better at what they do so it's not a bad thing so she was not feeling 100% happy after that section right there and you could see it on her face I'm gonna play that part one more time and you can see for yourself you see her biting the lips <laughs> all right you, you you see that a while ago so they looked at each other they both know what is <laughs> They both know what is going on, so they had a look at each other. Take a look at this. You, you see that look? You see both of them with that look a while ago. He knows what happened. She knows what happened. But they are being professional. They are playing nevertheless. All right? I slipped up a little bit, but we are riding the horse right to the end of the road. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. You know, that's what's going on right there. You see right at that section she 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 give a quick look up in the camera you know so she was holding down her head she's like looking uh, at the camera quickly and it's a natural thing that we do and in body language I'm not a body language expert but it is something that I've meddle around back in the years because I was in the field of studying psychology so some of these things is what we learn how the body operates and it's a nervous system and some of them are just easy reflex you know when you make a mistake you look around to see who's looking at you it's a natural thing in any field not just in music if you're in hockey basketball um, if you're doing a presentation 
and you made a mistake, it's natural for you to kind of look around to see who is looking at, at you and you're hoping that nobody would have seen that you actually made a mistake. <laughs> but when we become professionals in music, we turn our mistake into music. Yes, that's what happened. So I'm going to tell you this. A lot of professional musicians out there actually make mistakes in their presentation. But the professional or the more professional people, what they do is turn their mistakes into a part of the song. So they play, we call it wrong and strong. So when you're wrong, you play strong and play with confidence. Like this is something that you wanted to do because the moment your facial expression get droopy and be like, oh God, I can't believe I did that then everybody sees it, and even if they wouldn't hear it, this is the point when they hear your mistake loud and clear. So you have to play, and even though you made a mistake, yeah, you made a mistake, but you have to just, <clears throat> and you have to put on a face like, yeah, you're doing your best, and you know, it's going good. So it's just a thing that we do as musicians, you know, when you make a mistake, you just hold it. You know, don't lose yourself. So at the end of the show is when you do your crying. When you go to your green room or go to your personal room, then you go there and cry. But you cannot cry on stage. Everybody will see and that is not good for presentation. So she did a great job in this one. <laughs> you, you heard her say Whoo! it's like oh my god it's finally done you know she's that's like a breath of relief a sigh of relief Whew! oh lord this was a task for her i'm telling you as easy as as easy as it seems this was a task for her and she went through it and she did great and she's now happy she's actually at the end um yeah, what great, great job, absolutely great job. Thank you. No, look, look at this, look at what had happened now. All right, so if you noticed what happened there right at the end, um, um, Chen, everybody was finished. So everybody packed up. Um, Char is moving away from the drums. Um, Franz put away his guitar. Um, Chen was stuck with her guitar. It's like it's like it's like this it's like the part of the show where you want to redeem yourself. And yes, yes, my friend Ed, she was definitely a little embarrassed when she slipped up happened. When slip up happened. Understandable completely. Yes. I'm gonna tell you this. I do a lot of slip ups too. A lot of I've played on some major shows. I toured many countries in the world and I play on many big stages before thousands of people and I slip up before thousands of thousands of people and when I go to my hotel room after a show and I am reviewing my performance in my head I beat myself yeah many times I beat myself so hard I see wailing on my skin in my imagination <laughs> I'm like, how could you do that? What were you thinking? You know, why did you put your fingers in the butter before you started playing? Why your hand? Why was your hand so oily? Why did you slide off? Why did you slip up? You know, I beat myself at the end of performances and people used to tell me why I was so hard at myself because I too, I am kind of, you know, a semi perfectionist and I want my thing to be out there perfect. So, that was it. 
So I want to say again, um, this was a great composition. I actually like the song. As a matter of fact, I actually loved the song. I loved the chords they play. I love the phrases they play and they played very well. So this is a very good composition by the Franz Rhythm Band. And I want to say thanks to you guys who keep recommending that I do these videos. Um, thank you for all the requests. And also, I want to say thank you for the support to Glasses Kingdom. For those of you who subscribed to Glasses Kingdom, I want to say a big shout out to you, Maraming Maraming Salamat Po. I actually appreciate you so much. So we are basically at the end of the stream. We have four minutes before the hour mark. Um, and I want to take this four minutes and read some comments really quickly. And I want to give a shout out personally to some of you before we go to say greetings to um, uh, Get Lenor or Leonor. Thank you so much for joining us. And Ed Villa, thank you again. Sky, thank you for coming. Um, v Vivencio, you were late. Uh, not totally. You reached just on time to get in the main part of the show. Jamal, cool. Thank you for coming. Elmer Pido, thank you for coming. It sounds like Metallica, sir. <laughs> You're very ambitious, Elmer. <laughs> Metallica is one of the world's greatest metal band. You think they sound like Metallica? Probably they do. Very genius when Chen do the ad lib and the drum sound change. Very, very good, bravo. Yeah, hold on. Very genius when Chen do the ad lib. The drum sound. Oh, yeah. Did I miss that part? Why do I think I forget that part? She did the drum sound. Good reaction. I thank you, Hope. Thank you so much. I think so, too. They are ready for the world, that is. Your comment reactions are great. Oh, thank you, um, Ernie. Thank you so much. We also have Dan Art in the building. Bravo, BK4. I think you're saying GK for your good reaction. Uh, you're so very good reactor. Oh, thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Uh, Ed Villa Bal. Uh, she was a little ember. Oh, yes, I read that already. Um, Tamsak, done. Oh, thank you for the Tamsak. I do appreciate the thumbs up, guys. So for those of you who gave, I don't even know how many thumbs up I have right now. Let me just take a quick look. Um, we have 82. Oh, that's not bad. 82 from 93 people that's actually very very good i'm very impressed with that so it means that it means that most of you that came to today's show actually gave this stream a thumbs up i appreciate it thank you so much thank you so so very much um you're a very good reactor gk god bless you always thank you dan art um you can look at their videos comment sections as did um, an English translation of Musk. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I actually did. I actually did look at it. And I think I pinned Gabby's version of the translation. So thanks to those who translated this masterpiece for me. So I could actually understand the words of the song. It was well written and very well composed. Great job by the Franz Rhythm family. Uh, Richard Tongo. Hello, bro. Please try do reaction review uh, the finger style of Franz with him. You're my sunshine. All right. I'll bear that in mind. If you could put it on the outside comment section of this video so I can remember at the end of the stream. Thank you very much. And thanks, Ed. I learned a lot. I am glad that you did. With that said, um, thanks again for everybody who joined us. We are so happy you came. And we are looking forward to seeing you again. We have just 30 seconds left for the close of the show. And so I will just end by playing the Franz video again. And at the, at the end of Franz video, I will, be not, I will not be here. So thanks again for your support. And thank you all. Oh, and by the way, if there's anybody here that has not yet subscribed to the Franz family, their their link is in the description please do subscribe to them as a matter of fact as a matter of fact i'm going to put it in the chat myself so if you're not subscribed to the friends family you can go and as a matter of fact go watch the video if you haven't seen the video yet this particular video on their page i want you to go there and watch it 
on their page to make sure they get this view they deserve this view allow them to get this view all right so here is the link for the friends family Okay. okay, so if you're not yet subscribed to them, there is the link. I think you all are subscribed, but just in case you haven't subscribed, go check out Friends Rhythm Family, subscribe to them, and watch this video, and watch all their video, and don't skip their ads, because, the, oh crap, oh, 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 you can actually skip their ads, <laughs> I'm kidding, don't skip it. Um, they don't monetize some of their videos. I don't know why. They prefer they prefer if you donate via Gcash. And keep it that way. So I'm going to tell you this. In case you didn't know, Franz Rhythm prefers your donations via Gcash. So don't worry so much about the ads. They prefer if it goes via Gcash because when it goes through YouTube, YouTube takes 30% of the revenue when the when it goes through YouTube they take 30% of the revenue I saw somebody in one of their premieres and one of their live streams asking where is this super chat dollar sign so somebody wanted to donate during the dollar sign but unfortunately Franz Rhythm did not monetize their video during their performance i'm not sure if there's any other reason behind it but i think they're basically telling you to donate via gcash if you want to support them monetary i just that's just my personal belief from the outside it could be something else and that's why i'd certainly love to interview them here one day uh when they are ready that might be long from now but i hope it will happen one day soon all right until then Guys, take care of yourself. It was really good seeing you again. And I'm going to play this song. But at the end of the song, I, I won't be coming back on live. It will be the end of the show. So thanks again. Have a great morning. Have a great night. And when I see you again, I will see you again in the next video. These two young teens have already skills in creating music, but their skills still need to be nurtured. Yes, Kane, absolutely well said. And um, it takes time. It takes time guys and I will tell you this sometimes sometimes slipping up and sometimes mistakes help you to be stronger because every time you walk the path where you make a mistake you remember it and you try not to make it again so sometimes mistakes help to build us into the person we will be in the future and what we are now is sometimes um our mistakes all that we did wrong it helps to mold us into the people that we are today so you know making mistakes don't kill yourself just take a good look at it you know revamp come again do it over again and do it very good this time all right until next time take very good care guys and i will see you Thank you.
Let me die, no passing me, 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 no passing me,